are on the way to Saratoga. It has been quite a while since Nick and I, just me and him on the river, quite a long time, taking it back to the roots. But this trip is gonna be a little different. No camper. We're loading up everything in the raft, whatever we need for the next three days, in the raft, nothing else. <laughs> we're gonna wait until either the sun sets or we're uh, found a nice spot to camp, pull that raft on over, light a fire, drink some beers, and hopefully cook some fish. We're about an hour away, let's say from where we're gonna be dropping my truck off at the get out, three days from now, as we float along the river. We'll be uh, pulling up to Saratoga here soon. Is he trying to tell me what to do? What are you, are you trying to tell me what to do? How about that ride in? Hello. How about that ride in? I guess that's why they call it Sin City. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous through there? Amazing. So this will be our get out. This is uh, Treasure Island access. And then we're gonna shoot up the road about 20 odd miles. We are here. Let's get it popping. We are going to be floating the North Platte River and we're going to be putting in at six mile gap and floating down to Treasure. Which gives us a total of what? About 39 miles, give or take? I'm not a talker. I'm not a talker. Which we need to cover in three days. 39 miles in three 39 days. 39 river miles. We're going to be camping in the raft. It's gonna be it's gonna be a real good time, so stay tuned. We are here. We do have a quarter about a quarter mile stretch to get down to where we're gonna put the raft in. Um, we've got a lot of stuff to carry down. We've got a big pack we're going to take, uh, all the beer, the water, uh, the raft, obviously. Nick's going to get all this apart while I'm going to run down and hopefully get back up here so we can get on this river. Some of our key components. I'll try to hold the pack and these. Oh yeah, she's heavy. Oh, goodness. See you in a minute. Bye, have a great time. And off he goes. See, I'm the smart one. I just chose boat duty. So let's get this thing prepped and ready. Got the raft off the trailer. This frame is heavier than we thought it was going to be. Probably going to take off these rod holders and oars. See if it's a little lighter. Nick, how hard was that? It's a little difficult. <laughs> yeah. And then all the way down. Uh, probably a quarter mile, maybe a tiny bit less. But it's kind of steep terrain. Man up, right? Okay. Nick's going to keep preparing this raft and frame. I'm gonna charge it one more time. See what this guy does to me? Sucks to be you, nerd. I'll be back. BRB! Time to pay the man. I 
So we just got on the river and we're already exhausted. We drank too much the night before, didn't get enough sleep, and then the quarter mile trips to get all this gear down to the river just took it out of us. So we covered maybe five to six miles of river this first day, found a good campsite and just called it an early day. So today was probably one of the most physical, hardest physical things I've done in quite a long time. Um, we are exhausted, we got barely any sleep, but we were gonna try to go like four hours, five hours on the river today and fish and do all that, but he's wiped, I'm spent, and uh, pulled up to this beautiful campsite. He just happened to say, hey, look out for a campsite, and then boom! Both just spent, spent. I'm tired, boss. Send out, you could probably throw the anchor on shore. What did he say to me? Pull my ass end out. Rainbows Anonymous. What did he say? All right, so for dinner tonight, we got these mountain house meals. We got some beef stroganoff with noodles and some chili mac with beef. Grab a little river water. We're gonna boil it up, let these soak, and chow down. We're gonna give Blake a little extra flavor in his tonight. <laughs> What's that say? Do not, uh, do not eat it. Do not eat. No, this must be Italian or something. You're an idiot. We're wiped out. It's not even sun. Sun's barely setting, and we're both going to bed. That's over there. Here I am. Oh yeah, it's gonna be beautiful. Good night. We'll see you in the morning. Well, here we are. It's 8.30 in the morning. I think I had the worst night of sleep of my entire life. My back hurts, my legs hurt, my knees hurt. Everything hurts, They're really bad, like really, really bad. I'm sore, I'm cranky my ribs. How about you? I feel fantastic. <laughs> He's lying. He just got done telling me we were on a downhill. My ribs were crushed against my, my huge body. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, we're gonna, Get some breakfast here and try to get out and get some miles down the river and hopefully put some fish in the boat today. That's the goal today, is fishing. Yes, sir. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Stay tuned. I like eggs. We just finished packing up camp. We got the boat all loaded up. Somewhat ready to flip. Probably not. Definitely need some practice at doing this. Day two on our North Platte River Canyon float starts now. Let's get some, bud. On the river again. We just couldn't wait to get on that river again. And we can't wait to get on that river again. 
The boy has no skills. You better find it. I mean, we got cows. Look at that valley. Hey, seagulls, come back to Florida. That's why we're not going to catch a fish. Why? No, we shouldn't even have had them in the boat in the first place. No bananas in boats. Oh! Wank. Have a bite? First bite. So we had a first bite. Got a little, a little hope, a little faith now. I'm gonna take off the, uh, the dancing one. This guy dances around in the water way too much so the fish miss it, throw on the old Thomas Boyant. Go, 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 spoon! Nah, 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 it's the gold spoon! Spoon, 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 spoon! what he said. George W! You don't ever! Never trust the weatherman. Right down the gully? Right down the gully. little brownie out of the North Platte. First one took us a while, but we got one. We're on. The skunk is out the boat. Woohoo! Another beautiful brown. We're getting a little bigger. That's number three in the boat. Keep it going. You gotta love it. Gorgeous trout, right off the flat. Almost to camp, we're gonna put this guy on the grill. Good eater size right here. Here's what we kept today. It's gonna to be a nice trout dinner on the riverside. We got a brown and we got a rainbow. Uh, we're gonna show you how we clean these. It's gonna be real simple. I'm just, we're just gonna gut them and scale them and get them ready for the tinfoil, butter, and onions. Right, so first thing I like to do is just go ahead and scale them. And you're basically just gonna run a knife or a blade against the scales. Flip the trout over. 
right in the anal cavity, up through the belly, all the way up to the throat. And you're just going to grab and pull. Next, you have a bloodline that runs across the top. And you just throw your thumb underneath that. And it'll come right out. And we have one clean trout. Screw it, we'll take the heads. I like it. I like your style. And just like that, we have two trout ready to hit the fire. Let's go uh, chop up some onions, get some butter and some seasoning, get these puppies cooking. Thought they'd be light. Note to self, don't forget to put your butter in the cooler. Mm. If you get a little butter paper, I'll be. So I filled the cavity of the trout with butter and those diced onions. And then I sliced an onion and we put more butter and onion on top. Once that fire's got some good hot coals, we'll slap these puppies on there. It's a good sign we got butter over there boiling out the sides. These things are going to be delicious. Woo. Woo. Puppy is a cooking. I wish smells could come through the camera because this smells amazing. All right, guys, so trout is cooked. It is done. We are tabled up and we're about to dig in. This should be delicious. Cook that for about 15 to 20 minutes, I would say. And I mean, watch this. Like, it's just going to peel right off. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Day three is upon us. Definitely a little chilly this morning. I think it dipped down to mid 30s last night. And we got, I don't know, probably six, seven river miles to cover today to end this journey. We got some good sleep last night. I'm feeling much better. I'm not going to be complaint boxing overload. The lie detector but, uh, determined that was we're a lie. We're catching some fish today and uh, putting some trout in the boat. So stay tuned. Promises, promises. Ah. See if we can get my boy off the skunk train yeah, this that's trip. Crap. Right in the middle of one of my Blake outs right now. Holy cow! Tried to land that drone in my hand, and 80,000 RPMs just. <laughs> I have to apologize to my friend Nicholas here for bearing with me. He should have his earplugs all day in here with me. Um, day three, we're on the river. This is Diary Entry 101. Diary Entry 101. 
for wah, wah, wah. This guy's sick of dealing with it. You know that. Complaint box, is it full? Let's blur this out. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? All right, so pretty slow going today so far. It was cold. The sun finally came out. That's a plus. Um, Blake and I are going to do a little swap in here. I'm going to toss him on the oars. I'm going to jump up front, see if I can't put a couple fish in the boat. The W has held itself at bay for the most part, but it's supposed to be getting up today to like gust of 35. So, hoping we can dodge that bullet. Aspire to be an oarsman. Look for that big old brown trout. I'll take a little guy too though. So the high water like this, we're going to be focusing on trying to pin the lure on these banks. And my lure choice today is that Thomas Boyant quarter ounce gold spoon. Thing is magic. There's a good, good chance for a fish right here. Yes, there is. Absolutely is. Boy, pen in them banks. Yeah. <gasps> that, that was a good trout. That yeah, was. That was a good trout. Oh! You follow it? No, it just makes me sad. That was probably 17, 18 inch brown. Rolling by, rolling by, rolling by. Cast for the goodness. That one? Yeah. <laughs> Little baby brown. He gonna do one. He gonna do one. Tell him. He gonna do one. He gonna do one. That skunk out the boat. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Another beauty. Little what was that? Next 12 inches right there? Yeah. All right. <laughs> that is our get out at Treasure Island. It's been an amazing three days on the river. Blake's taking us in on the final home stretch. I think we got a Norseman now. Dude's been killing it back there. I think I only had to change my underwear once since he's been back there, so he's doing good. Well, you know, that's a lie. Two or three. All right, I got most of the stuff out of the raft. I'm waiting for Nick to get back. He's gonna come pick me up in his truck because he's got the trailer on his. All in all, an absolutely beautiful day. A little windy at first, the beginning, a little chilly. Turned out to be nice. Um, I got skunked this whole trip. I uh, was just too much going on in my life, I guess. And I let it get the better of me. I still had an absolutely amazing time in a beautiful place with one of my best friends. So I'm not mad about that. Kind of, kind of sucks not catching fish, but. You know, just being out here in general just makes it. So I'm okay with that. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Day one, day two, and day three, all different days, but all awesome in their own way. Uh, guys, if you haven't liked, commented, and subscribed, please do so.
Wow, 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 wow.